I do want to just stop it. We're gonna start in a few seconds. That should be fine. So let's get started so that we have a full uh, hour uh, to progress on the plugin. So welcome everyone. Um, today is, is a bit special because uh, we were stuck for so long um, trying to um, detect the movements of the mouse. Uh, let me show you. What I mean exactly? Jumping directly in a give Oh, yes, I also can see it. So, let's check one thing like that. Oops. That should be fine. That should be fun. So I was saying that we were stuck last time where uh, we wanted to uh, Okay, so we, uh, the effect we wanted is that uh, the plugin should detect which nodes are in the surface of the disk. You know, I'm moving the mouse over the network and I would like that the plugin um, uh, displays the, the, the word corresponding to the nodes in the surface of the, which is currently selected, right? And only these nodes. So what we need to achieve this result is that um, our plugin should be able to detect when the mouse is moving so that each time it moves, it retrieves the nodes uh, in the selection, you know, in the cycle. And it didn't work. Basically, the, uh, which, uh, uh, if you check back the videos from the last few weeks, uh, the code was. Uh, Correct, it seemed, but when the mouse was moving, uh, it never triggered. Uh, the, uh, it never triggered an action. So, uh, so what I'm going to show you now is 
the alternate fixed strategy that has uh, pushed and developed It doesn't zoom in. It doesn't So let me see the code. I have completely uh, uh, given up on the logic where the the we would detect the mouse uh, movements. Instead, instead we will rely on the following logic. Let me center the code so that you see it well. Yeah. It all. All the code we need uh, is situated in the method or the function, which is triggered when the uh, when the run button of the package is clicked by the user. So let's follow it. And I'm going to add comments to the document. So we had a brilliant, you know, a true false variable, which is called run. The beginning, let me go up of the code when the uh, plugin is initialized. At the, this variable is false. I just see Veronica coming. So, hi Veronica, very glad to see you here. And, um, and fingers crossed, we should have a demo. So running is false when the plugin is initialized. But when the user, so let's go back to this method that is triggered when the user clicks on the run button. When the user clicks on the button, running flips the value. So if it's false, it becomes true. If running is true, then uh, we should change the text of the button and the user should see cancel. But if the run button is, uh, if, the, if the plugin is not running, then we should see run. So let me add that. Um, Boolean true false. Hello. Checking uh, if the plugin is running. And now this is where the magic happens. And so a sweet worker is something which is quite, uh, you know, complex and not super intuitive. It is a uh, um, a type of um, object in Java which is needed for the following reason. Uh, in every framework where you have an interface, you have, a, you have a problem. Problem is that when you launch an operation, like compute something which is super long or when you launch an operation, which is super long, the interface will freeze until the operation is finished. So if you say, click on this button and, and compute complex, complicated things that will take 10 seconds to be computed, if you do nothing, if you just write that in the code, uh, the whole GIFI and the whole computer will be blocked 
until the computation is finished. And of course, we don't want that because we launch a computation, but we want to continue using the computer, right? So what should happen in this case, what you should do is launch the computation in the background. Uh, because a computer is a single object, but inside a computer, you can run operations uh, in parallel, you know, in different uh, threads, so to speak. So when we have a long computation, we should launch it on the thread, which is not blocking the interface. And how do you do that in practice? Well, the swing worker is exactly uh, the thing to do that. It's a worker which will handle the computation behind the scenes. So let's uh, write that. A swing worker is an object specialized in launching aspects that run a long time and that should not work and that not block the interface while running. So it's and why is it boring to use? Because of uh, it's a bit, uh, you know, it's, it's some code which is not super again that one. So a, a, a swing worker always does two things. Two things. A method that describes what will be done in the background, and this method should always be called do in background. And the second method called process, which retrieves intermediate values, uh, you know, because the computation can. You don't need to wait until the last uh, step of the result. You might need, you might want to have intermediary, intermediary steps. You know, like what is the when it's ten percent finished? Can you give me the, the intermediary result? And when it's twenty percent finished, give me the intermediary result. It's a trap. It's a trap. So yeah, that's uh, so that's what we're gonna use the string worker to retrieve the word clouds uh, um, at regular inter intervals. And since we use a string worker, it will not block the uh, Giphy. Giphy will remain uh, free to use, even if you have this task uh, being running. So what do we do in file? We do our, our the lines of code that we have written a, a long time ago already. Uh, let me wait a bit, a bit more clear than like that. What we do, we retrieve the selected nodes. So the nodes which are in the cycle of the nodes. Retrieve them, and then once we have the selected nodes, we retrieve the texture attributes of this node. So that's the functions we have written a long time ago, just November or December. Uh, that was not difficult. So uh, retrieve the textual attributes of this node. And compute the top changes of this and 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 then I I have a doubt, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Uh, I'm not sure this line is useful. That's what I mean. So we retrieve the top terms, right? And what do we do with them? 
Uh, uh, yeah, we need to push that. When we publish is a function which is again uh, I didn't write it. It's just part of the string work here. When you do publish this top terms, what it does is it sends these results to the process function. So you see it just trying here. So why is process here? Why do, does it need a list of strings? Well, because it can retrieve a lot of intermediary results at a quick, at a quick uh, pace. So it, it processes a list of intermediary results. So that is we can just receive it, which is good. So each string in the list, uh, we just open. And in the, you know, we have a label in our project, the window, just put this text uh, to the label. So, if it's not clear, we can put the terms like this straight up with the terms. Some um, terms are computing in the model. Which are not just using the background, just to put them in the place where they're. And when we are here, we have finished describing the string worker. The string worker, as you see, is just a variable which we have if, uh, in our um, in, uh, instance chain. We have not launched yet. It's just a variable hanging there. So how do we execute this string worker? Um, oops, yes. Well, look at the following. If running, so if the user has clicked on run, what do we want? We want, so the user has just clicked on the run button. We want that for the, so that's the first, uh, it's just launching the plugin, right? It, uh, it detects which attribute of the nodes should be analyzed. If there was no attribute selected, it could be returned, right? It should be stopped. But if the user has selected an attribute, then it should run it for the whole graph, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, the whole uh, uh, network. And then, it should execute work here. The work here. Exactly that, the thing we have described above. As you see, there is a kind of it's gonna execute the work. So the question is, how do we how do we update the word cloud when the user moves their mouse? Actually, it's gonna update continuously. Why? Because part of that is executed um, in a loop, it never stops. Uh, it could be really heavy in terms of computation for the, you know, if it just keeps running, it's going to put all the results it's going to appear. So I have introduced a, a, a tool, uh, which means that it runs and it waits like uh, a fifth of a second. And then it, it runs again. Uh, so this parameter, the 200 milliseconds here, could be maybe uh, it's going to be adjusted. And we, we're going to uh, allow the user to adjust it. At the moment, uh, that's not good. And how do we stop the discontinuous loop? Uh, well, I. 
can't really remember. Uh, it should stop when the user clicks on the run button and you know, stop it. So do I have that here? Yeah. The, so it's the, it's the button is the user has clicked to run the product physically there were otherwise message of cancellation to the worker. Let's go back to the worker. You know, the cancelled uh, method returns false when you have cancelled. So this loop will stop executing. Let's demo that. Uh, so, the is Um, so to test it, we compile the plugin, right click, and build. Uh, we remember that it's pretty Why is it so? Why am I sure? Okay, now what we do is
Yeah. Yeah, my CPU is just, is just through that percent so Launching the field is the penny. So just to remind you that the network we're using to, to test our plugin is the New York Times Twitter account and more precisely uh, the, the account flowed by the New York Times account. And it happens that the New York Times, as you see here, is following the New York Times and probably and we, we have a huge hairball because New York Times and police follow each other, all of them. So we have this big um, ball of hair. Um, right. Uh, so this is the plugin on the left as, as the user we have. Covered at the moment. So there is a run button, but it run. And it tells us no attribute selected, please choose one. Uh, because we want to have the red cloud uh, based on a texture attribute or the description. Why description? Because look at the data and the so, Back to 
in the in our network, one of the attributes of the network is uh, the constraint here. Sure. Description. Uh, this is what you have the value to measure. So, So the user has set the description, they want to top terms. Um, okay, and then we submit. Uh, oh, yeah, because I had the uh, launch date, of course. Oh, uh, I see the launch date. So now we should be able to. Uh, select the part of the network. Uh, we read the. So when I click on run, as you see, the, the every all the lines of code we have in the method pipeline, these lines of code activate. What do they do? In a loop, they retrieve selected nodes, compute top terms, show them. Retrieve selected nodes, compute top terms, show them. At a 200 milliseconds interval. So let's go. And you see, as I move the mouse, it refreshes on the bottom left of your screen. You see the top terms. Depending why, because the nodes uh, are have different descriptions. So when I go on the far left here, I'm covering some nodes that are mostly uh, not too much because we need some UI. Let me focus. On and so here, here, the patterns are a lot of times HTTPS, so we have to this one at some point. But in proportion to 0, 0, I turn journalism to keep it going. If I move it, it will be like this. Here, what you see is, what you see is, this is more like, uh, Foreign affairs uh, side of the network, House, America, Chief, President, Africa, Africa. So you see that in this region of the network, uh, the, the, the types of uh, accounts is slightly different. Um, okay. Still falling because I, I have the impression that things are a bit frozen. Uh, so I just say that the, the run of the of the plugin and uh, and that's it. Basically, we have a the, the feature of the. Um, the beginning, which is the one that is uh, the cloud of the that we are currently covering uh, over. So, what is left for us is uh, some uh, improvements on the UI, which at the moment is far from perfect. And that's why I think I'm going to do a list.
So first, what we have seen is that the, uh, we don't see the top of the list. So make sure the rules are visible. Uh, removing the TTS is going to be a word that has no uh, meaning. Uh, put everything in lower case because we have a distinction between all zero and all zero with a capital A and lower case A and two different cases. So put everything in lower case. Uh, the other thing we need to do is uh, well, the, the whole design is ugly in the sense that it's super wide. Uh, we should find a way to I suppose we should go where we have the parameters and the tab that's in the back of the artist with it. So, um, the arm, parameters on the tab. Um, tab in the back. And if we do all of that, it's like we get this component. First one, make sure the words are visible because at the moment it's cropped. Uh, okay, let's see. So, if I go back to do that. So, uh, Java Swing, that's the, you know, the framework we use for the interface. Java Swing, uh, text in a script we see what the users have okay. We should go to scroll. Scroll. So we 
Yeah, we should. That with terms. So why this is the tab? So kind of. Added a panel, no, a panel. I added a panel in the tab pane, and that's now it's called one. So the parameters section is this thing here, and this one here.
Okay. And then it's cloud. Should... Yeah. Internet cloud. Okay, next PC. That's better. Uh, let's see how it gets to work. So, we can use that image for your rendering. It's all right. It's been too strong. So, the rendering, I'm going to put it uh, here. here. And now, I suppose I can resize. You know, that's too good. Yes, That's much more narrow, that that's good, that's narrow to the wall, good. It could be a bit taller. So this thing should be much this good experience. Yeah, it looks great, man. It should be as narrow as possible because again, we should not disturb the, the other view. Should take all the space it can, right? So it should, so it should be like that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Great. Um, okay, so let's maybe that make sure the words are visible on the top. I didn't manage that. Actually, I still may have in uh, 
the ceremony is over. So, it is the ceremony. Okay, so we can just play the pattern. Okay, so Should be good, right? Oh, 
I'm just trying to. Nice. Uh, I will just now fix the now case that I don't think the show is to be. Put down the structure just to keep sure that. So the HTTP, I should have a list of stuff I have a list of stuff but why is it not HTTP? What you need? I'm just one stuff groups. Just awfully slow. Understand why it's so slow. OBS is broken pretty clear. Why? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, down very much. If you start with the right If he's still not launched. Coming, you can see it on screen. Oh, interesting, look at the right. 
Faut que je te lance de la gueule. Shoot. But that's interesting, at least. The thing resizes the base. I think we can see the number and if we. Well, in any case, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not So, run. We can move to the world cloud. No, that's Hey, it's I should see the right when I need it. Oh, maybe it doesn't work because I think it's just the one before. I suppose my oh okay there's a Get their Giphy uh, software. Uh, I can't uh, make their Giphy software crash, right? So it should be really good. It's just. What? TV here, five seconds for something. So, if you recover from that, I guess it crashed forever. Hmm, not good. The selection area is completely uh, is completely uh, frozen. Okay. Okay. So what went wrong here? I think the so back to the code, it seems that running the here. Just uh, we suspect that this thing here is a bit of trouble. Hmm.
Uh, while I'm at it, uh, I would like to make sure that the room button is visible. So we should put all of that. The button, the layout should be. Interesting. So I should do is add a panel. In the The layout is Except that the box, I would like to have it vertically aligned, not does it work? Um, why axis I should Yeah, I got it. Look at that. So that could be fine. Mm 
Natal. Natal a dos. Okay, that, that building defeat.
and Oh, there was a Whenever, if you, whenever you want. If you need a banning super strongly, Finally! Okay, I'm going to go to the red button. It takes the complexity of the bottom. Just to kind of see it. Okay, so it's still grass. So what I'm going to do now is inside the section before I'm going to the parameters, refresh, description, contact words, run. I'll switch into the web files, new notes included, and ta-da! Fantastic. That can we learn from The chemical is the teeth, which is blue. Cool. Uh, this is so cheap. But no. So cheap tends to be associated with the pepper. Zero.
look at the center and see editor and if you go to the very peripheral here you see you see you see I don't see the area of the chief. On the politics here, we see politics which is professional. That's nice. I think we are nearly there, uh, then we can add uh, more stuff, but uh, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to try and break it, like I did last time. Uh, I'm going to record a demo. Nice and we can change like words, like the size of words we need. And we have six of it. <laughs> seven. Six. Six. Seven. Ooh, and then it crashes a lot. Okay, well, I have a very good feeling. Finally, we, we did it. Um, so the next uh, session next week is going to be dedicated to uh, finishing uh, polishing the UI, translating into uh, many languages. Um, yeah, then we will. Uh, Publish it, maybe not next week, but the week after, and, and then we will listen to the user's comments. I think that having a list of stop words, if the user could add a list of stop words, that would be super nice. Because in this case, we don't care about uh, signal, HTTPS. Uh, Signal and HTTPS and yeah, that's true. Well, I'm super happy. Uh, thank you, Veronica, for uh, following this far. As you see, I don't know if you have followed the last uh, the last few minutes. It's really fantastic. And I, I like to insist this graph is not interesting because it's the New York Times is everywhere. So when you visit different regions, you don't see a difference. Um, I will try to find a, a, a more interesting graph next time, a more different shade, and we should, uh, uh, the word cloud should really uh, evolve depending on which region you scan. Uh, I think I'm going to do the demo uh, next week, uh, once I have found a, uh, a kind of heterogeneous uh, network, not this one. Well, have a good day, and uh, and thanks again, Veronica, for staying. It's really, uh, it's really a, a very positive feedback. Bye-bye, see you next week.